What's up guys, it's Jalen, and welcome to my review of Transformers Dark of the Moon, the third installment of the franchise. And this was once again directed by Michael Bay and stars Shia LaBeouf once again. I remember going to see this in theaters back in 2011 with my family. We were really excited and I enjoyed it. We enjoyed it that day. But when it comes to me, after rewatching it, I find this movie actually not too bad. Now, it's okay, it's enjoyable, it's another Transformers movie. Dark of the Moon had a lot to live up to because how bad Revenge of the Fallen people talked about it. So this movie had a lot to live up to. In this movie, the Autobots are getting a lot of heat from the government because, you know, fights and explosions and destruction. And Sam has a new girlfriend named Carly, played by Rosalie Huntington. Megan Fox was actually was going to come back for this movie, but her and, her and Michael Bay had a fallout, so Michael Bay fired her. You know, Michael Bay, I heard how... Um, he took some of that criticism that was made of Revenge of the Fallen. Like a lot of the really terrible humor is gone, and and how overly sexual it was, it's not there anymore. So he took some of that criticism and made it better, kind of. But we have Sam trying to find a job because his girlfriend Carly is rich, and she works for Patrick Dempsey's character. We'll talk about his character in a minute. With Sam finding a job, you really don't, don't really don't. You really don't give a crap about it. I mean, I mean, as I said, this is a Transformers movie. We all want to see the Transformers doing stuff. But uh, all that's fine besides. Hey, but let's talk about Shia LaBeouf. I think he's actually pretty good in this movie. He, he gives a good performance in the movie. I mean, not, not Oscar worthy, but he's actually better in this one than he was in one and two. So I'll give him that. I really don't care about the whole relationship between him and his new girlfriend, Carly. I feel like they didn't have enough chemistry as him and Megan Fox had in the other two movies. So it's fine. I mean, it's fine. And I always wondered what would it be like if it was just him not worrying about a girl or anything else. Just him, the Autobots, and the soldiers working together. I think it would have been a better movie if it was like that. Let's talk about Patrick Dempsey's character, Dylan. I don't like this character. I don't. I mean, ever since I saw this in, in theaters, I saw his character. He was like, what the, why is this guy here? And then it, it's revealed that he's actually, he has a crusade of, of working with the Decepticons and he wants to help, help them bring Cybertron back to Earth. And I always thought to myself, even, even as a kid when I saw this, I was like, okay, why is he doing this? Like, he doesn't even know what Cybertron is all that much. I mean, if the if the Decepticons won and and they succeeded, he would have been the only human living beside robots on an alien planet. Like what? Like what the heck? Anyway, that was actually a joke that I made when I first saw this because I did not like his character. I still don't like his character now. But after rewatching it, I actually understood it a little bit. You, you know the Decepticons came to him and they threatened him so he so he decided to go along with it so they won't kill him so I, I kind of understand that but it's, it's still stupid though it's stupid well, the final fight in Chicago was really enjoyable because you finally have some Transformers kicking ass and shit and um and it's really enjoyable you, you have Optimus Prime slicing and stuff that was a really cool scene right there and I was just like, this is what I'm talking about. This is what we all want to see. We don't need to see Sam finding a job and working out with his new girlfriend and Patrick Dempsey's character and stuff. Like, we didn't ask for that. We asked just for the Decepticons and Autobots doing stuff and fighting. That's all, that's all, that's all we come to this movie for. I don't come to this movie just for anything else, just to see the Transformers on screen. Anyway, aside off from that, but overall, I think Dark of the Moon is actually pretty enjoyable. It, it's okay, I mean, it's another Transformers movie. It's just the first act is bland and boring. You know, the second act gets a little better and the third act is a full action film. So I think Dark of the Moon's okay. It's okay. It's actually better than Revenge of the Fallen in my opinion. So anyway, that's my take on Dark of the Moon. So comment below, let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time with Age of Instinction.